What a long day. <sighs> Hello and welcome to Wildflowers. It is a Friday and we have a few things to do today. Mostly in, um, in, what was it called? Ravenwood Hollow, right, where the, uh, they live. We'll need to buy some of Ariel's hair for the werewolf suppression potion. And we'll need to buy some seeds from Perry so we can keep growing flowers in the gloaming. In addition to that, we'll also go see Kai and see if he wants to ask us out today. And of course we'll keep on working on the glass production here. We need 10 panes of glass to make the bouquet table. Uh, speaking of the bouquet table, maybe we should grow some flowers here. Just so we'll have enough to actually make some bouquets, like Violet asked us to. Let's get, oh, that honey. There we go, and nothing needs doing here, nope. Let's go see our animals. It's a rainy day, so they'll be indoors. Hello, Layla. Pancho. Luna and Lady. Matilda and oh, that's actually not what I meant to do. I meant to pet Buttercup here. Feedy. Cleocatra. Oh, such a pretty girl. Oh, still loving that, aren't you? Let's go and see about that glass. And now we'll go and talk to the Fae and buy some of Ariel's hair. We'll make the rounds just like always. Do you think there's a market for personal weather machines? My island-wide prototype needs a good rethink. Well, I think some people have been talking about them. What you reading, Wesley? Oh, 
I just acquired an out-of-print collection of traditional Russian fairy tales. I think my mom might have softened the endings of some of these when she read them to me at bedtime. Have you always loved old books and lore? Yes. I was studying the classics in college right before I got bit. I guess I was always kind of a dreamy kid. What about you, Tara? Do you have a favorite fairy tale? Oh yeah, several actually. Out of these... I always loved Beauty and the Beast. Hmm. I wonder if true love could turn me into a prince. I guess part of my fascination with folktales is my hope that I might find a clue in them that will lead me to a cure. I never imagined when I used to read them that I would one day live among the Fae. Perry doesn't like us to spend too much time with humans, but... I feel you can relate to how I feel. Your world changed just as suddenly as mine did. That's true. Yes, well... I feel like I can be myself around you, Terra. Aww. Yay. Perry? Tell me, does the coven still celebrate the rites of spring? Ah, uh, well... Dyed eggs. Uh, <laughs> I see. Things have been watered down a bit over the centuries. Spring is a time to celebrate the victory of light over the darkness. Every little new shoot and sapling carries the energy of life, reawakening. I don't care to cross the veil again, but perhaps you could go and fetch me some freshly bloomed wildflowers? Sure, which ones? There's thistles, or... It matters not, witchling. Just press them into paper for me. It's the best way to preserve their beauty. All right, I think we can do that. Centuries ago, humans used to come to me during spring and request love potions. And did you- Of course not. Oh, we've heard that. Here, what do you think of this? Mmm, what lovely smells. You have been practicing with reagents in the kitchen as well as the sanctum, I see. We need to buy seeds. Let's buy some of uh, both of these flower seeds. The magic bean seeds we don't need anymore, I don't think. Oh. What about that one spot? But though, in the... well, we'll have to see about that later. Um, I just got an idea of where to... potentially. Would you tell your people to stop feeding the wildlife? I know they think it's helpful, but human food will make them sick. Are they giving them human food? Really? Not seeds and berries and stuff? Hmm. I thought everybody knew that human food was no good for wild animals. Hmm. Anyway. We'll buy one magic bean seed. At some point. And uh, try it on. On, um... A particular spot in the gloaming. I don't know if it'll do anything, but we'll see. I mean, if it doesn't do anything, then we won't be able to sow the seed there. But yeah, we'll see. I, I kind of have an idea of where we might get some use out of a magic bean seed. Hello, Kai. Oh, hey! I was, like, uh, hoping to run into you today. Really? What's up? I wanted... Uh, well, it's like... Uh, that is, uh... If you're interested... What is it? Uh, uh... Would you like to have dinner with me sometime? Sure. I'd love to. Whoa, awesome. Uh, I, I'll figure something out for us. Oh, 
All right. Nice. You made this all for me when I was learning to surf. Also, there's a plane flying overhead. I'll just close my mic for a sec. Oh, it's already passed. I hope that, um, didn't get too loud. The, uh, noise of the plane. Uh, let's go and see the letter from Sophia. Alice texted me a while ago. I was surprised to see her name pop up, but it didn't twinge the way I thought it would. Ah, That's nice. Maybe you can be friends? Potara, thanks! I'm going to save this for a midnight snack. Alright, let's go see Sophia. Give her the mushroom and tuna. I got your letter. I'll put on a romantic dinner for you and Kai. Just bring me some ingredients. Some mushrooms and a tuna should do it. Have you got the ingredients? I sure have. Great. Come to the diner tomorrow night and I'll have everything prepared. Tara, I hear you're helping with a spring fling. It doesn't exactly line up with Passover this year, but I thought I'd make some matzo ball soup for everyone anyway. After all, the spring fling is all about love and my matzo ball soup is like a warm hug. But the key is making the stock from scratch. I just need a few things. Think you could help? Sure, I love hugs. Even if they're the soup variety. <laughs> Do you have my stock ingredients? Yes, here's everything you wanted. Oh, perfect. Oh, the diner is going to smell so good once I get this stock bubbling. Sophia, it always smells good in here. Oh, thanks. You're sweet. Oh, and speaking of sweet, here. Ooh, nice. A new recipe. Giacomo would love how many new faces have become regulars at the diner. He and I shared a love of chatting up strangers. I have periodically talked about living pretty close to um military base. Remember when we used to run a lemonade stand in town and then spend our earnings on ice cream? Yes! Whatever happened to that old ice cream parlor? Oh, the owner retired ages ago. Truth is, it's hard to run a business year-round here. So, uh, just to explain, in, in case you haven't been around, um, when I've talked about this, I live pretty close to a military base where they train fighter pilots. And, uh, periodically, those fighter pilots um, need to practice or fighter pilot trainees or, or whatever they're called. Anyway, they need to practice periodically and uh, sometimes they fly quite low and that makes a lot of noise and, and um, if we're very unlucky Sometimes that noise might be heard on some of my videos. Mm, I love apple cider. So, sorry about that, but there's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> Thomas makes me laugh sometimes. I think the grouchy exterior just hides the teddy bear heart he's got. Except, well, I can always turn off the mic. But... Baked goods can cure any broken heart. All you need is love. Get it? The noise tends to kind of come and go pretty quickly, so... Mmm, these are the best! So, um, it can be pretty tough to prepare. Having actual weather feels like such a treat. 
But the kids are too busy to spend a rainy day in with me. I'm glad they've created their own lives. But I'd be lying if I said I didn't miss them. Aww. Even though Mom's back, I feel like the past is still dragging me down. What's a girl to do? Well, I hope you'll gradually be able to kind of come together as a family and create some new routines that include all three of you. So, anyway, every once in a while, every once in a great while, um, there may be some, some of that plain noise on my videos, and I, um, I hope it's not too bad. Let's go and, uh, See if we can dig up any recipes. Usually, the um, planes don't fly all that low, but sometimes they do, and and of course when they do, they make a lot of noise. Nothing new there. Let's water those plants. Like, for example, right now, there's a plane passing by overhead. But I don't think the mic is even picking it up, because uh, the noise is not very loud. It's just very, very, very occasionally they fly quite low, because obviously they have to practice that too. Flying, uh, flying very low. And then, uh, that noise is loud enough that the mic does pick it up and, and then it'll be heard on my videos. Luckily, it happens quite rarely. So, and there weren't any new quests here, right? I'm just uh, checking everybody other than Lena and Gloria as well. But no, nothing new. Let's see about the um, flower paper. Takes three. Or one, so we'll need to use 21 flowers here. We have um, plenty of thistles, so maybe. And Perry should still be here. Yep. Have you pressed some flowers into paper for me? Yes. What do you think of these? Oh, very fine work for a first try. Paper made with fresh flowers is perfect for crafting powerful incantations to work your magic on the natural world. Or you could use it to write letters. I hear humans do that. Here, take this. It is spring, is it not? Oh, very charming potion. All right. I haven't really felt the need to use those potions, really, because um, it's not too difficult to befriend the people in this game. But uh, it's nice to collect new recipes anyway. 
there it is. The gloss is done. We have nine. So that's the tenth one. Lovely. We'll be able to make us that bouquet table tomorrow. That is potions three and four. They will be done in the morning. Then we'll just need to make one more. And, um, and we'll have five. So we'll keep on brewing those werewolf suppress suppressant potions uh, tomorrow. And I think by tomorrow evening we should have all five. So we'll um, maybe be able to give them to Wesley tomorrow. We'll see. In any case, we've got our dinner date with Kai to look forward to. And uh, the, the bouquet table as well. We'll be able to get to making those bouquets for Violet. Until then though, thank you so much for spending time with me here on the Mellow. It was lovely to have you. Please remember to be kind to yourself. Have a lovely rest of your day. And I'll see you next time.